Thomas and the Swan. One day, as Percy was making his way towards the dairy, a bird suddenly flew out of the bracket beside the line and hit Percy's copper beam. The driver rescued the bird and gently placed it in the cab. But the bird had tired by the time they reached the junction. Driver said it was a pheasant, Percy told the others. I can't believe it just came out into the trap like that. Oh, scoffed Thomas. Fancy being frightened by a bird. If I met a bird on the line, I'd just blow steam at it. A few weeks later, Thomas saw a flock of big birds flying overhead. Their necks stretched far ahead of strongly beating wings. Swans, said his driver. They were royal birds once, and some of them still belong to the Queen. Why are they here then? Thomas wanted to know. Did the Queen bring them when she came to see us? The driver laughed. No, Thomas. <laughs> Just the ones in the river near her home belong to her, he said. Swans are protected birds, and no one must kill them. What if we ran into one by accident? Like Percy's pheasant? asked Thomas. I don't know, replied his driver, but I think I'd rather not find out. Next day, Thomas stopped for water at the station by the river. Ahead of them on the bridge was something which looked like an old newspaper. Thomas puffed on. Suddenly his driver slammed on the brakes. When they stopped, Thomas realized that he was face to face with a very large cross swan. His driver and fireman climbed down from the cab and went cautiously forward. The swan struggled to its feet and came towards them. It arched its neck, spread one wing wide and hissed loudly. Thomas jumped and steam hissed from his cylinders. This only made the swan crosser, and he packed up Thomas's driver, before he and the fireman ran back to the cab. Back to the station, quickly, Thomas, urged the driver. A swan has a broken wing by the look of it. Flew into the parapet of the bridge, I expect. We must fetch help. The station master telephoned a vet, who, with a friend and some difficulty, managed to carefully move the swan and clear the line. scared of theirs, Thomas, said Percy in the shed that night. Ah, but you see, Percy, swans are different, said Thomas. Why, it might have been one of the queens. And you wouldn't have wanted me to urge it now, would you?